hello welcome back to my channel so I thought today I would do a constellation nail um, I saw a picture of Kirsty Meekins I didn't watch her video I did want to do this a long time ago but I weren't sure how to do it but anyway so this piece I'm just showing you how I stick my nails to my nail tip holder I'll get some of that double-sided sticky tape and then what I do is I stick it to the nail first because I find it easier to peel the backing off and then I just stick the nail to the holder and I'll tell you something that does not move I mean it it sticks there proper good I mean I could wipe it if anything and it don't budge I can file it to death and it ain't mo bo moving right so I'm using the Galaxy collection for model ones I'll put a link in the description below I am using a black tip only because I didn't want to have to do two coats now this polish is really good it does give you a nice coverage but I wanted to do it on a black tip just so that I didn't have to do loads of coats of polish I just done one coat as opposed to two um, I can't remember the names of the individual polishes what I do is I'll link it in the description box but I'll also just put the individual names as well there just so that you want to just in case you want to just buy one color or whatever um, I really enjoyed doing this now I really did enjoy doing this now um, yeah, and now I'm just trying to figure out which polishes to use first. So I'm using Blue Planet, I think it's called. Can it see? Can we record in boxes in the way? Please, Apple, sort that out. Um, so I just give it one coat as opposed to two. If I was doing this on a white nail or a clear nail, I would have given it two coats. But the coverage is still just as amazing. It doesn't matter. I just been. I was trying to save on polish, really. I was just trying to save you know save anyway so I just give it one coat and I bake it under my LED light now and model ones they bake under an LED light for 30 seconds and I believe in a UV light for two minutes but don't quote me on that because I've only got an LED light so um, I thought I'd recorded this bit and I didn't so I've got planet which is a glittery blue one as you can see and endless purple which is a very dark purple so now I'm getting my ultra fine detailing brush and what I'm doing is I'm dragging it backwards and forwards just to sort of like sway the colours between each other really. Um, I don't know if it's like a galaxy look but I quite like the way it looked. I was happy with the way it turned out. Um, yeah it was easy to do actually this nail. It was a lot easier to do. I had done a couple of practice ones today because I wanted to make sure I got the shape right because it was difficult. I have tried it before but this sort of give me the courage to actually make a video and stick it up online so um, now I'm gonna get there's an iridescent one see my little ring thing I made my little ring palette I like that ring palette anyway so I'm just getting some of that iridescent one and I'm just drawing some lines through really nothing great I mean it doesn't have to be vibrant or anything because once you paint your con put your constellation on it will sort of hide that um, <coughs> Yeah, so I just done the details and then I just stuck it under my LED for 30 seconds and that's it really. So then after I've done these and I'm quite happy with them, I'll give it a top coat. So what I do is, I don't want to waste my matte top coat. So what I do is I've got quite a big jar of uh, non-white top coat. So what I did was, if I want to do a design, I do two coats of top coat. You'll see me do it in the video anyway. Um, it looks like I've only done one, but I actually do two. But what I do is I give it one coat and then I hold it upside down for a bit and just let it settle to try and make it even and smooth. Because when you come to filing it, you'll see that you've missed pieces where it's not sunken in, like it's not leveled out. It's still sunk in a pit like where you've made, you've done a design and it's a little bit higher than a polish. So that's me, two coats, here we go, two of those. And then what I do is, see this is where these things come in handy, because if you've done this with blue tack it ain't happening. See, I am just buffing that puppy away. So, trick, if you want a matte nail and you don't have a matte top coat, two coats are clear, buff it, Bob's your uncle, fans your aunt, you've got a buff, you've got a matte nail, you just wipe it and it's done, yeah. Um, so I just find it easier to do work that way because then I can do a design on a matte nail and then I can either leave it matte or top coat it, it doesn't matter really. Um, it's not a problem, I only held the end because it felt a little bit mm, weird. 
Um, <clears throat> it might, I thought it might have given way, but I weren't sure. But anyway, this is it, wiped. See, now you can see where that's evenly coated. Because when you buff it, you'll see where it's you've missed pieces, where it's sunk in and it hasn't leveled out. So you'll notice that when you're buffing. So I just get a lint-free wipe and some top coat. No, I don't. What am I on about? Oh my lord. A lint-free wipe and some rubbing alcohol or isopropyl alcohol <clears throat> and I just clean it. So now I've got some foil glue from Nao Nails. This looks amazing. I've got some other foil glues. I've done a video on that. Mm -hmm. But this stuff is amazing. So this took me, actually to do this design, it took me four minutes. Right, and it's only a little design, but it took me a long, long time to do it because I wanted to get it right. Um, it was hard to do. Um, this is my birth sign. It was hard for me to do, but I just, what I did was I done, I tried to do a thin line because I didn't want to do it really thick. And then, because today I've done it and I made so many mistakes, it was like, oh my God. But if you know your star signs, can you guess it? Can you guess it? Can you guess it? I know what it is, obviously. So, yeah, if you know your star signs, you might know what it is. And if you're this star sign, you'll know exactly what it is. So I'm just drawing the lines and then I'll put the star dots in later with a dotting tool because I thought that's the best way for me to get the big dots and the little dots and whatever. So there it is. Look at that. That is the star sign for Leo. That is me, Miss Fiery. So I'm getting my dotting tool just to put in the dots. So I'm putting in the big major dots first and then I'll flip it around and I'll just put the little dots in. Once they're all done and I'm quite happy with that, I bake it under my light for 30 seconds because um, that's what the timer says on the packet. And while that's baking, I get a bit of foil and what I do is I cut the piece of foil off that I want and then I just get a bit of rubbing alcohol and I just wipe the back just to make sure it's clean. Um, you don't want like, I don't know, it, I think it gives it better adhesion to be honest with you, I don't know. But anyway. So I cut this off and I thought, oh, it's not long enough. But I thought, okay, let me just try it anyway. So I stuck it at an angle and did it the way I wanted, but it weren't a problem. So here's me getting nervous. I stuck it on, rubbed it. I tell you, stuff's amazing. Watch this. This is accidental. It came straight off in one go, but look, it's amazing. I've done a constellation. I'm so happy with that. I'm so happy, so happy. Look at that. And the gold really pops on that blue, right? It looks amazing. Um, so I give it a top coat, another top coat, baked it under my light for 30 seconds. And that was it, done. Bob's your uncle, funny's your aunt, bang! One nail done. Only another 11 to go if you really want to do every single one, but I don't want to do every single one. One's enough. But i tell you something, it's really easy to do. It is really easy to do. I'm not an artist, I can't draw to save my life, but I'll tell you something, I'm over the moon with that. Listen, girls and boys, practice, 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 I tell you, and then you'll get what the results you're looking for. But anyway, I've got to go. I hope you enjoyed my video. Hit like, subscribe, and the bell for my next one. And you all stay safe, you all take care, and don't forget your masks on Monday. I've got back to work on Saturday. Yeah. I'll see you all later. Take it easy. Ta-da. Bye.